These three AI agents now run an entire insurance company and they don't even need a single human in the loop. Sounds crazy? Let me prove it to you. First, what we did is build an AI voice agent which calls and qualifies new leads and it even generates a personalized insurance plan if they're qualified. Second, we built an AI agent which does all the onboarding. It asks the questions and logs all the answers into the CRM. So you don't need to waste time on these repetitive phone calls and onboarding procedures. And third, we built an AI customer support agent which handles 90% of all customer questions and can interact directly with live customer data. In the next few minutes, I want to show you a live demo of each one of these agents. Second, I want to give you a high level overview of each and every one. And if you want to look further into how to building them, I've also provided all the resources and further videos you can use to learn how these actually work on the back end. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name's Liam. I help businesses all over the world save tens and tens of thousands of dollars every single year using AI. If you'd like to do the same for your business, you can just use the first link down below to book a free AI consultation call. I am limiting the spots to only three people per video. So I hope to see you in there. And now let's dive into the first AI agent. All right, so the first AI that we built is an AI lead qualification agent. Basically what this does is when a new lead comes in, it will call the lead, pre-qualify it instantly. And if it's qualified, also generate a personal insurance blueprint for them as a bit of value upfront. Before I show you how this works, let me show you a live demo from a previous video. Kate from Hemingsworth Insurance. Do you have a second? Oh, yeah, thank you. That was pretty quick. Uh, yeah, of course. What's up? That's great to hear, Liam. Thank you for your interest in Hemingsworth Insurance. To better understand your needs and see if we're a good fit, would you mind answering a few quick questions? Of course. No problem. Thanks. Awesome. First, what type of insurance are you primarily interested in? Home? Auto, um, or well, I'm, yeah, mainly life insurance. Great choice. Life insurance is such an important part of planning for the future. Do you currently have any insurance coverage? And if yeah, I do. It um, it's it's for the next five years. I already have one in place. Thanks for sharing that, Liam. Now, could you let me know your approximate annual income? This helps um, us Yeah, it's 250000 okay. Thank you for that, Liam. Have you had any recent claims or significant life changes? Uh, no, I mean, we got a dog, but case? that's pretty much it, so. Got it. Congratulations on the new pup. Last quick question. What are your top priorities when choosing an insurance Definitely provider? having good example, customer you... support and also having good service. Those two are the most important for me. Excellent. Those are two key things we pride ourselves on at Hemingsworth Insurance. Based on your answers, you sound like a great fit for Hemingsworth Insurance. I'll email you a customized insurance overview shortly. Can you Thanks. confirm your email is luminatdigital.dental at gmail.com? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you for remembering. Perfect. You'll receive that within 24 hours. Thank you for your time, Liam. Have okay. a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, as you see, it called me and now after I hang up, this workflow over here will trigger and generate a customized insurance blueprint for me. So right here, what it's already done is it has added the answers to the questions into this field over here. So you can review what happened on the call. It's updated the status to qualified, which is great. So if you go onto the pipeline, um, it'll put me into qualified, which is nice. And next in a moment, once this is done, there we go. It actually sent an email to me. So if we reload this, as you can see, I got a new email. There we go. <laughs> um, got a new email, which says, thank you, you know, for your interest, you can download it here. And then if you download this, you actually get a customized insurance overview. All right, so that sounded very human. Now let me show you on a high level overview of how this actually works. If you want to learn more about the specific prompts or workflows, you can click this video up here to watch the entire thing. All right, so when a new lead comes in to your, for example, up here, this could be your CRM. When a new lead comes in, the AI is instantly triggered to make a phone call. Now, what we do is you can, for example, you can add many steps in the video that I showed you and that I've just linked. We actually have it so that a human needs to, first of all, check that the lead should be pre-qualified. We can also set this up automatically so that any lead gets pre-qualified. And what's important is that we can connect the CRM to the AI 
to send across things like the phone number or like the name so that then when the AI picks up, it'll say something like, uh, hi, Liam, I, I noticed you reached out and it sounds a lot more personal than just a generic, you know, pre-qualifying. And next, what happens is we give the AI a set of questions to ask and then criteria that it should um criteria that it should basically rank these candidates on and you can tell it please rank it from for example zero to ten and if they're more than a six then that means that they're qualified and if they're qualified then you're allowed to um, you're allowed to generate this lead magnet or this personal insurance blueprint for example you know this is just a just an example you can customize this however you want and send that to the email for example Liam at test to the email that you they can also find in the CRM. So then it emails the plan over to the customer. And at the end of the call, it also, as I said, decides is this qualified or not. And they can us, uh, update the CRM to be either, you know, this lead, we can move to the next stage in the pipeline, or uh, we can forget about it. So this is a very, very high level overview. And if you want to learn more about that, you can click the video I just mentioned. All right, so the second thing that we built is actually an AI which takes care of all of the onboarding. So instead of having to pay someone from your team to go through a repetitive set of questions, you can get an AI agent to call the customer and already do all the onboarding steps with them and then log those back into the CRM as well. Let me show you a live demo from another video. This is Kate from Hemingsworth Insurance. Let's get your onboarding started. Hey, uh, yeah, sure. Great. What type of insurance are you looking for? For example, uh, I'm looking for life insurance. Car, home. Thank you. Could you please provide your full name and date of birth for identity verification and yeah. risk assessment? Yeah, it's um, Liam Parker, Thanks. and the date of birth is the 18th of the 5th, 2020, sorry, 2005. Thank you, Liam. Could you please provide your current address? This is especially relevant for coverage zones. Yeah, it's 123 Maple Street. Thanks for that. Do you currently have any insurance policies? Uh, no, I don't. All right. What is your primary reason for seeking life insurance? For example, to protect family, meet legal requirements, or for peace of mind? Um, well, I mainly want to make sure my family is taken care of. Understood. Do you have any dependents or family members you'd like covered under this plan? Uh, yes, I have four family mem members I'd like to have covered. Got it. Thank you. Do you currently have any existing health conditions or chronic illnesses? This is relevant for underwriting purposes. Uh, no, I don't. I'm fit. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Could you share your current employment status and occupation? This can sometimes affect insurance pricing and risk assessment uh, yes I run my own company noted what is your monthly or yearly budget for insurance this helps us tailor a plan to fit your affordability um, monthly plan I like to keep it under 500 a month understood lastly when would you like your coverage to start um, as soon as possible Thank you, Liam, for providing all the necessary information. Someone will follow up shortly with the next steps. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right, so it asked me all the onboarding questions. Of course, we can add a lot more questions to this. But now, in just a moment, this will start triggering and updating the customer in our database. So here, we have the onboarding evaluation with all the questions and answers extracted. And now the status of the lead is switched to onboarded. All right, so the way this one works is very similar. We have a CRM where now the lead is pre-qualified, right? And then once they are pre-qualified and the sale was actually made, you can then, you know, the sales rep can maybe uh, tick a checkbox and say, yep, this is, this is, you know, sold. We're ready to go. Please onboard them. They, I will get the signal. And then once again, place a call to that person. And if you want to, the person on the sales call can also specify, uh, please call them at you know four o'clock on Monday or something like that. And then this basically triggers at four o'clock. But the important thing here is, is that once again, you can just use an AI agent to go through a set of, you know, quite a lot of, of onboarding questions 
And you'll see in that video that I linked up there, if you want to look at more detail, that the uh, cost difference is the biggest impact here because an AI is roughly three times cheaper than a human at this point. And it's just, yeah, it's phenomenal because you can call them 24 seven. It can do multiple onboardings at once because you can have you know lots of AIs running parallel effectively. And it will onboard them. It will collect all the information from all of these questions and then log that back into the CRM so that the custom is onboarded in a very smooth way. All right, the last thing that we build is an AI agent which takes care of 90% of your customer support. Now, this is very, very interesting because a lot of the calls are so repetitive that you basically just have your sales reps answering from a document anyway. And you can give those documents to your AI plus access to a live set of data that they can then use to answer the customer's question. Let me give you a live demo. To Hemingsworth Insurance, I'm Matthew. How can I help? Uh, hey, Matthew, I was just wondering um, what payment methods do you accept? We accept credit cards, debit cards, bank transfers, and PayPal, although PayPal availability may vary by region. Okay, Is there anything else and uh, if I was to uh, file a claim, uh, how long would it take to, to uh, process a claim? Most claims are processed within five to 10 business days. However, more complex claims may take longer. Okay, um, I actually forgot my like password to the, to the portal. How do I reset that? To reset your password, go to the login page of our app or website, click on forgot password, and follow the instructions. Okay, to great. Um, I have a more specific question. Um, uh, what, is my, um, what is my deductible at the moment? Your current deductible amount is 750. All right. Is there anything else and, um, I can assist you could, with today? Yeah, definitely. Could you um, could you please tell me my current premium? Your current premium is 99 euros per month. Anything All right. And um, yeah, I was also going to ask um, what the covered vehicles are for me at the moment. vehicle currently covered under your policy is a 2022 Audi A3. Okay, Anything great. Else well, thank you very much. Today? That's all. Bye-bye. All right, so that sounded pretty cool. As you can see, it pulled live data from a database. It can look through your documents. And this kind of technology can, of course, be expanded to do much, much more than just this. But uh, for today's video, let me show you how this actually works on the back end. All right, so this AI has a couple more moving parts to it. So basically what happens is when the customer calls, so for example, um, this is the call that will then go to the AI agent. And here, this is actually where the agentic power of an AI agent comes in because an agent is basically an AI which has a set of tools which it can use to complete a task. And the tools that I gave it in this example were a few. So one is to access the documents. And you can also give it um, many, many, many documents. And it will first of all decide, okay, the customer's question fits to this document. You can put them in different categories as well. This one could be, you know, payment. This one could be, which one, like, I don't know, car insurance. This one could be uh, life insurance and so on. It will first of all identify the right document and then identify the right passage in that document. Send that back into the conversation to answer the customer's question. The next thing that I gave it access to is actually your... Um, your live data, whether that's your CRM or maybe uh, you have another software where you then have a list of customers. And here's actually a thing that's really important is the privacy and the security of an AI because we don't want to give this AI access to everything because then it could leak customers' data. What this AI does when the customer asks something about what's my current um, premium, for example, the AI will look at the call, it will see this is the phone number that's calling from. Let me see where I can find this phone number, Oops. this phone number in the system. And if it can find a customer who has that phone number, it knows, okay, somebody's calling from that phone number. He obviously has access to the customer's phone. This is a very good way to um, make sure that whoever's calling actually is allowed to access this data, you know? So based on the phone number, it will then search the CRM, find information about the current premium, and then send that information back into the conversation. Now, another thing that's really important is escalating tickets to humans.
because at any point in the conversation, if the either the AI decides that it can't answer a question, if there's no information in the documents or in the CRM, or maybe the human just says on the call, he says, um, I want to talk to a human, then the AI can choose this tool to transfer that to your actual live sales team, sorry, your live customer support team. And from experience, this happens occasionally, but it's, it's very minor. It's about 90 to 95% of calls are handled by the AI, which means that your sales department now needs to handle only 10 to 5% of the calls it usually had to handle. So overall, this is a great use of um, AI because you can use those humans instead of having, you know, three customer support teams uh, to support agents, you only need one. And those other two can go and do much more important stuff in your business than answering the same questions again and again. I would recommend not firing anyone just to be clear, because yeah, if you've already got them in your company, uh, might as well put them to use and uh, do something better with their time because humans are capable of a lot more than answering questions from a document. All right, so I hope I was able to give you an insight into the use cases and just a very high level overview of what AI can do in an insurance company. I'm sure that there are many more use cases out there. And if you're currently working in an insurance company, you can just leave a comment down below and ask um, any other questions. And maybe I'll make a video on your suggestion in the future. If you'd like to work with me and set one of these systems up for your own company, you can use the first link down below to book a free AI consultation call. I am limiting the spots, as I said, to only three people per video. So I hope to see you in there and I will see you in the next video.